Cool. So we have two types of posture correctors. Um, one is electronic and one is just a good old uh, analog product. So both of these are supposed to encourage you to keep uh, proper posture, whatever that is. I think it means shoulder back, right? And don't have turtleneck and keep your lower back straight. So if, you know, if a $20 product can keep you from going to a chiropractor, I would say that's worth the money. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see. This digital one is $21. The non-digital is $20. Uh, so curious to see how similar price points, digital versus non-digital, will work. Yeah, I think this one has a big chance of being a gimmick. I thought that's a Trump for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you wear it like this. And it says that you want to start wearing it in 15 minute increments and gradually increase the duration as comfort allows. And you want to tighten it periodically to pull your shoulders back until they lay flat using a wall as your guide. Okay, one problem is the strap gets stuck here. Yeah, <laughs> I can hand it to you. <laughs> oh, I got it. with an exclusive 99% off Amazon coupon code for one additional unit. Right, yeah, I mean, the, the coupon makes me feel a little bit better because uh, one thing that I was going to say is $20 seems a little bit expensive for something like this. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, if it actually does improve your posture over time for $20, that's a pretty good investment. Can you feel it pulling back? Yeah, it, 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 I think it's actually working. So... Obviously, the thing that you're trying to prevent is your shoulders getting scrunched up like this, right? So it's trying to like manually pull back the the shoulders, which I mean, it definitely does that for sure. The long-term benefits of doing this is obviously we don't know, but I think as far as just correcting it by force, it seems to be doing that. Try it. Yeah, it definitely pulls the shoulders back, um, it's not uncomfortable either. Yeah, and you can just wear a shirt over it and people right. won't be able to see it. It's good working from home now, um, don't have to worry about trying to put it on discreetly in an office. Okay. Let's try the uh, digital version. Alright, before we go on to that junk or junk. I would say gem. Um, I'm curious to compare it to another product that's supposed to do the same thing. Yeah, I I'm I'm a little shocked that we're you know we're agreeing on everything right now because <laughs> we don't usually do that. But so we're not doctors, so we're not we're not going to claim that this fixes any pain or anything like that. We're we're simply saying it's it feels good to use actually. Yeah, um, it's comfortable. Yeah, wouldn't mind wearing it all. Um, and at least for me who actually have a, um, I actually have a kind of a rolled in shoulder problem. Um, I wouldn't mind trying it out for a few weeks and see if it, you know, um, helps anything. Yeah. So we have no reason to believe that it's a, it's a gimmick. Um, so we're both going to go with John. Yep. Let's, uh, try the electronic version. Yeah. So the idea here is that it has a sensor and it will vibrate if the angle of your back exceeds 25 degrees. So I think the sensor sits right on your upper back and I guess it has a sensor that detects the angle that it sits, right? So it, once you lean forward, it'll hopefully it starts beeping. Like it vibrates. Okay, just playing around with it here, it counts the number of times as well that you break good posture. And so you can see just playing around with it, it's at three now. If I pretend like my back was slouching, it's vibrating now and the count should go up by one. Huh. Can you, can you change the sensitivity of that? I, is that adjustable? I don't, I don't think it's adjustable, so I think it's preset. 
So it says, if the posture appliance is insensitive, the strap can be adjusted at some angle. So you have to do a, you have to essentially play with how it sits on your back if it's not sensitive enough for you or if it's too sensitive. It's kind of doing a similar thing as the non-electronic one of pulling my shoulders back here. Yeah. Um, okay. You can't adjust the tightness. Let's see if I were sitting and I slash. It's vibrating. Um, let's see at what point it would actually you turn around. Yeah, let me. I feel like I'm slouching a little bit right now and it's not vibrating. This there point it, it is, yeah. That's pretty good. I don't think it stops buzzing. If I keep slouching like this, it's it's just going. Yeah, I mean, right. this feels like really bad on, posture. So let me adjust it a little bit so it sits more on your upper back. Okay, now try it. Oh yeah. Okay. So you can adjust the position of it. Like if you have it sitting a little bit on your lower back, then I guess it's less sensitive. But if you have it closer to your neck where it's already curving, then... Yeah, this is really sensitive now. I mean, if I lean forward a little bit like this... It seems to work. I Yeah, I'm actually impressed with how it's doing that. I mean, it could get annoying if you're like, reaching to grab a pen and it's buzzing all the yeah, time or yeah, like yeah. um but it definitely will remind you when you have bad posture i really thought this wouldn't work at all i was like why would you have a over engineered solution to something a strap can easily do it is a bit of work to yeah some annoyances it's not fun to put on and as if you're just putting this on yourself, I have no idea if the sensor is actually centered or not, or where it's sitting on my back. Does it feel centered to you right now? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. That looks pretty extreme. Yeah, that's, that's how I normally sit. <laughs> I usually sit like this. Yeah, so it's it's buzzing every time I do that. So if I wanted it to be more sensitive, I would just move it closer to my neck. We have triggered it 26 oh. times now. Yeah, so it's definitely a lot more. But it's probably, if you're looking at good posture, where is the trigger point now? Right here. And that probably should be triggering. It, you were definitely slouching. Yeah, this is how I normally sit though. <laughs> Seriously, that's <laughs> like you are the right target. Yeah, me. so, okay. I really like this. Yeah. This is a cool product. And I, I really thought the non-adjustability of the, the sensitivity of the, the sensor was gonna be a problem. But it's really easy to adjust just by sliding this thing up and down your back. Right. And I like how it's a uh, vibration that I can definitely feel and I can hear, but it's not going to be picked up by like a video camera. Right. Because like I wouldn't want this thing going off whenever I'm uh, on video conferencing or something like yeah, that. Definitely get ripped on by the team. Picture poster. So the posture sensor, junk or junk? I think it's a gem. I think um, it's 100% a gem. Yeah. I did not expect a $20 electronic product to actually work. I'm impressed. Like, I was really expecting this to be uh, gimmicky. Um, but it works really well, I guess, uh, for both of us. And one thing that I will say, though, is like this isn't as comfortable as this. Um, so... This, this uh, has, you know, a little bit narrower straps. Uh, this has kind of thicker padded straps. Um, but I think, but it, it wasn't, it wasn't a discomfort to wear by any means. Right. Um, I wouldn't call it uncomfortable. This one almost just felt good. Like it was, I enjoyed wearing it. Yeah, I, w I was honestly ready to call this kind of gimmicky if it came with like Bluetooth connectivity and an app that I needed to download and go through, uh, you know, hoops to get this to work. But 
honestly, no assembly required, no setup required, no smartphone required. Um, and it's basically ready to go with the press of a button. It comes with the batteries included. So I think this is a hundred percent a Gemini. And that's honestly super surprising to me because I was thinking, why would you create e-waste by doing this when basically a strap would do the same thing, but it's, it's not the same thing.